Good evening and thanks for joining us. They are two women who have faced down some of the world's greatest dangers. Tonight, one of them, a German photographer, is dead and a Canadian reporter is injured. They were shot, apparently targeted by a policeman, as they sat in the back of a car. They were reporting on the lead up to tomorrow's election in Afghanistan, a vote so many hope will bring peace to that country. But as Stuart Greer reports, the recent spike in violence doesn't bode well. The two veteran journalists were traveling in a heavily guarded convoy that was delivering ballot boxes on the outskirts of the eastern Afghan city of Host. After pulling into a protected compound, a rogue police commander walked up to their car, shouted God is great, and fired his AK-47 rifle into the back seat, deliberately targeting the women. 60-year-old Kathy Gannon, who grew up in Timmins, Ontario, was struck in an arm and shoulder. She's in stable condition and recovering at a U.S. military base. But her 48-year-old German colleague at Associated Press, photographer Anja Niederinghaus, was killed instantly. We are shattered at the loss of Anja Niederinghaus, one of the great photographers of the world. The pair had covered Afghanistan for over two decades, more than any other foreign journalists. Again, they were set to bear witness to history. Tomorrow's crucial presidential election is the first since Canadian and other NATO forces have pulled out. There's no shortcuts to political development here. Gannon had spoken to Global News in the past about the huge challenges facing the region and, like Niederinghaus, was admired for her compassion and bravery. These women have uh, been legends who are role models for a whole generation of, of young journalists. If someone who wants to just pick up a rifle and, and have at you inside uh, a heavily defending compound, um, that, that's, really, that's really hard to defend against. This is just the latest in a series of brazen attacks to disrupt the election. Nine people died when Taliban gunmen stormed the Serena Hotel last month, killing prominent Afghan journalist Sardar Ahmed. Despite the threat of violence, a huge number of Afghans, an estimated 12 million, have registered for tomorrow's vote. Eight candidates are on the ballot to replace Hamid Karzai as president, and turnout is expected to be high. Our expectation is more than that, much more than 2009. Perhaps that's because voters feel this election may count. After ruling for 12 years, President Karzai can't run again due to term limits. This may be the first time in Afghan history that power is peacefully handed over. Donna.